to thank the police officer here tonight, um, and I'm still the proud daughter of the selfish, self-righteous guy who spoke earlier. So yeah, that's all I got to say today. Can I ask you a question, Emily? Yeah. If students were given a choice, in-person school have to wear masks or virtual, if those were the choices they were given, what do you think they would take? Obviously, going in person, but okay. there. That's there are, all. That's all. Can just I just answer. say one more thing? Well, no. I just, just you can. Well, there are other options too. Well, that's like my granddaughter when I say you have a choice of Sprite or fruit juice, and she says I want Mountain Dew. Maybe the choices are only those two things. There is a choice. We're going back well, to school without well, masks. Well, maybe that's... there isn't. Maybe there isn't. And so <clears> I'm just saying, if given a choice, I think you summed it up because Dr. Mueller made it very clear that our primary goal is to keep our students in school. I understand that, and but we, have, she, we also have parents uh, who show up Emily, here Emily, and they- Emily, I'm speaking now. So if the choice is to provide that safety for those students and the leadership team feels the best way to do it is to provide a mask, but or they to don't. ask them to wear a mask, then that those are the choices that they have. I understand that, and but so, we also have parents who show up and they say, "Oh, I, I really want my I'm kid not, to go back to school." I don't want school. to get into a big debate about this. Well, I, it's not a debate; it's just a conversation between me and you right now. Can, can we keep this just to our comments, please, yes. both of you? So Thank I you very much. A question, okay, and I appreciate that. So moving on to um, Jennifer Deek. 